Okay, so, hi guys! Uh, this is a continuation of the malignant epithelial tumors. We are going to discuss on four slides for this particular session and I'm going to follow it up later with another session for soft tissue tumors and the miscellaneous malignancies. So, we are going to tackle on slide 49, slide uh, 240, 239, and 232. That would be transitional cell carcinoma, follicular carcinoma, papillary carcinoma of the thyroid gland, and seminoma. So, our first slide is slide 49. This is transitional cell carcinoma. So, if you remember in histology, the transitional cells are the ones that would line what? The, may, uh, the urinary tract system consisting of portions of the kidney that would be the area of the, the pelvis and then we also have the areas of the ureter uh, as well as that of the urinary bladder. So as you can see this is a, a, a transitional cell lining and in normal conditions we can see roughly around five to seven, uh, up to five to seven uh, layers of the transitional cells. Okay, so you count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So this can still be what you considered as uh, the topmost for uh, transitional cell, but uh, transitional epithelium. But if it's more than that, then you consider a papilloma or even a carcinoma. So this one, you would see the presence of the increase in the, the layers. This is now more than uh, seven. Then consider also the pleomorphism. Okay, if there's a variation, so you can see the presence of the variation. Uh, the presence of mitosis which is present here this is the presence of mitosis then we are this is transitional cell carcinoma okay uh, just make sure that you can differentiate this one from a papillary carcinoma of the thyroid gland which we are going to discuss later uh, uh, there are two grades or uh, two grades based on the grading system of uh, transitional cell carcinomas that would be low grade and high grade it depends on the features that are present so if we have uh, marked pleomorphism uh, uh, we have mild pleomorphism of the nucleus like the ones that we see uh, cellularity the presence or absence of mitosis which in this case there are few and then presence of necrosis then you call it as uh, low grade or high grade so if you have mark nuclear pleomorphism it's high grade so this one I would consider this one as a low grade okay so this is slide 49 okay so I'm just going to scan the other area so you can get acquainted with the slide so this would be the area of the stroma this would be the smooth muscle fibers okay uh, a significant uh, prognostic factor for the staging for transitional cell carcinoma would be infiltration or invasion into the smooth muscle and if there's invasion it is a sign of poor prognosis okay so our next slide is 240 which is follicular carcinoma so so now we are with the thyroid uh, malignancies so, as what I have discussed before, uh, follicular carcinoma and adenomas would be a little bit difficult to distinguish if you are going to look at them on a, on a, uh, with regards to the gross appearance because they may appear to be well circumscribed, they are encapsulated, and sometimes the only way that we would be able to differentiate them is by histology so follicular carcinoma uh, would represent around 5 to 15 percent of primary thyroid carcinomas <clears throat> and this is a type of thyroid cancer that is associated with uh, iodine deficiency so in endemic areas that would 
show iodine deficiency, uh, this is the more common type of malignancy present. So, differentiating factors from follicular adenoma would be the presence of capsular invasion and or vascular invasion. So, as you can see here, this is the capsule. Okay, so kindly look at the pointer. Okay, so this is the capsule. Okay. So, if we're going to go back to the slide on follicular adenoma or the follicular carcinoma, this would be similar wherein you would see the presence of the uh, lobulated clusters of the thyrocytes. Uh, these are the follicles. The cells have uh, round, dark nuclei, moderate cytoplasm. More or less, if you're going to look at this picture, you'd not be able to distinguish the follicular adenoma from follicular carcinoma. So, what you have to do is you go run through the length of the capsule and take note for, uh, for invasion. So here you will see the presence of uh, the capsule with uh, with the lobulated clusters, but I still would not consider that as an invasion. This one, I, this one is a blood vessel, and you can see the presence of the thyroid follicles. So this is a sign of vascular invasion. So let's try to look at other areas. Here you would see, I'll try to look at the scanning view. Okay. So here's, here's the continuation of the capsule. Here you have uh, nests of the follicles. Okay. You can see the presence of those nests, which would be similar to the cells present on the lower portion okay so this is a sign of capsular invasion and on the other end this would be a sign of vascular invasion okay so next we have slide 239 this is papillary carcinoma of the thyroid gland okay so for papillary carcinoma it is the most common type of thyroid cancer, it is uh, seen uh, in 85% of, of primary uh, thyroid carcinomas. Uh, it's one of the risk factors for uh, papillary carcinoma of the thyroid would be exposure to ionizing radiation in the neck area. Okay, so histologically, you would see the presence of follicles, uh, follicles and papillary clusters. Okay, so uh, it may be similar, more or less similar, to the previous slide that we had, which is the uh, which is the transitional carcinoma. But take note of the lack of multilayering in this case. Okay. So what are the things that we have to take note of? Uh, number one is the papillary clustering. Okay, so we have the papillary clustering. So this is an example of a papillary core. Okay, single layer. And then this one would be the fibrovascular core having the presence of some capillaries. And then this would be the typical appearance of the nucleus of the thyroid follicles. This is what we call as having an optically clear nucleus and this is what we call as the orphan anii nucleus. Okay, orphan anii nucleus. Uh, in this particular slide, we do not appreciate the Samoma body, which is one of the features of a uh, papillary carcinoma. Okay, so if we would see the presence of Samoma body in the thyroid gland, highly consider the presence of papillary carcinoma. Uh, the good thing with papillary carcinoma of the thyroid is that it would confer more than 95% survival rate for 10 years. Okay, 
And then our last slide for this session would be slide 222. This is seminoma. So seminoma is a germ cell tumor. Uh, we call it as a seminoma when it is located in the testis. If it's located in the ovary, it has a different name. We call it as a disgerminoma. If it's located in the mediastinum, it's called germinoma. So histologically, they have the same features. Okay, it's precursor lesion uh, when it's called the seminoma for the feet, for the males. Uh, would be the presence of an intratubular germ cell neoplasm or what they call as the ITGCN. Okay, that would be the precursor lesion for seminoma. Um, it would express transcription factors OCT3, 4, NANOG, NANOG, uh, KIT in 25% of cases, and of course, the PLAP or the placental, uh, placental alkaline phosphatase. Okay, so what do we see in this particular uh, tumor? We would see the presence of clusters of tumor cells. We would, uh, we can see the presence of some form of lobulations. Okay, they are separated by a fibrosepta. Okay. Very typical for this is that we have uh, the presence of round to polygonal cells, uh, large centrally placed nucleus, dark chromatin pattern, and moderate amounts of cytoplasm. It's like having a clearing. Okay, or they are water clear. Uh, they have a water clear cytoplasm. Aside from that, take note of the presence of lymphocytes. So smaller cells uh, found within uh, the area. This is also one of uh, the diagnostic feature for uh, seminoma. Okay, so you can see the presence of the fibrosepta, fibrosepta, presence of cells that have round centrally placed nucleus and abundant clear cytoplasm. So this is seminoma, okay? And then the presence of small round cells, which are lymphocytes. So I'm going to send you another, uh, another session, and that would be on soft tissue, okay? So thank you, stay safe, and good night.